This is the area that the Hurricane Center is watching. We're watching all those showers that you see there. 40% chance for development. We're going to get moisture from the Northwest Caribbean. Moisture's already here. Moisture coming across from the Pacific. Does it develop a low? Most models develop a weak low, not a strong one, and just kind of drift it slowly here through the weekend. This is Sunday, but then it starts pushing moisture our way as Sunday gets here. I think Sunday afternoon, Sunday night is when that will really pick up, and then especially on Monday. But there's the broad area of low pressure. Depression? Eh, usually wants to be smaller than that, but it's possible. But we're not talking a big hurricane at this point. It does not look like that to me. We'll watch it. But there's Tuesday, and you can see the rain starting to push to the east and south Florida. All right, that would be more south than us. So I think this is a rainmaker either way we look at it. The forecast models, this is the GFS, still trying to drop a low back out in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Something to keep an eye on. However, rainmaker first, and that would be especially Sunday into Monday. And that could be heavy at times, but it's too early to say how much Tampa's going to get because the latest runs are actually shifting further south. But look what happens. That's a lot of moisture to work with in the atmosphere, and that's why we could get some heavy rainfall, especially Sunday and Monday. But what's this? That could be the first cold front coming through the area Wednesday into Thursday. So that's still a long ways out as far as cold fronts this time of the year, but it's on the maps. We'll have a look at it, and maybe it'll happen Wednesday into Thursday of next week.